From the beginning, the Pakistan Taliban took credit for shooting Malala Yousafzai because she spoke out against the Taliban and their restrictions on education for girls, such as in this interview with CNN last year. I have the right of education. I have the right to play. I have the right to sing. I have the right to talk. I have the right to go to market. I have the right to speak up. What? The full name of the group that says it shot Malala is Tariqi Taliban Pakistan, the TTP, which means the Taliban Movement of Pakistan. According to insurgency analysts at Jains, the TTP shares an Islamic fundamentalist ideology with the Afghanistan Taliban, as well as operational links, but it is a distinct group. Jane says it was founded by this man, Baitullah Masood, in December 2007 as an umbrella group of like-minded Islamic militants along the Pakistan-Afghanistan border. Baitullah died in a drone strike in August 2009. And the TTP ruling council then picked this man, Hakimullah Masood, to be its leader. Hakimullah Masood is in his 30s, and for a while in 2010, it was thought that he too had died in a drone strike. But he has appeared in videos since then. Hakimullah Masood leads the umbrella group of TTP, while other commanders head up regional groups, including Malana Fazlula, who leads the Pakistani Taliban that controlled the Swat Valley until 2009. The group relocated to Afghanistan after Pakistan's military took control of SWAT in 2009. According to Pakistan's interior minister, Fazlullah and his group came up with the plot to attack Malala Yousafzai. This uh, conspiracy assassination plan was made across the border in Afghanistan. Of course, Mullah Fazlullah, who had uh, fled away when we took action in Malaka and SWAT. And this was conspired there. Four people came from there. At that point of time, we did not know, exactly know what it was their objective and what kind of action they were going to take till such time they had hit uh, Malala. Besides the attack on Malala, the TTP is known in Pakistan for suicide bombings, like this one on Saturday that killed 17 people. And, say Pakistan's leaders, more than 35,000 people killed in recent years. Fanula Sweeney, CNN, Atlanta.